Welcome to our Reflection for Learning Circle. Musical stimulus is a creative exercise aimed at encouraging more mindfulness. An important part of mindfulness is being in the moment and thinking in a non-judgmental way. This can be achieved through focus and just being present in the moment and the situation. Research in the past decade has shown that music engages nearly every known area of the brain and involves almost every neural subsystem. Research also shows that music can evoke memories, emotions, calm, even a sense of place. Therefore, it's a useful tool for reflection and mindfulness. Do remember though, that reflection can be dangerous. It can challenge the comfortable areas and parts of your life and music in particular could trigger memories and or emotions as part of that. This exercise is quite easy. It involves either playing a piece of music for participants, as we'll do here today, or inviting participants to listen to a musical composition through their device, or asking everybody to share songs as part of a collaborative session. As with many different reflection for learning exercises, the degree to which this might be helpful can depend on variables such as the individual and what sorts of conditions work best for their focus the environment in which somebody is listening to the music, and the presence of any other sounds that might disrupt. Also, the nature of the music chosen and the ability for an individual to relate or respond to that. This exercise usually takes at least 10 minutes to allow for some listening of music, as well as a debrief process. If multiple people are sharing music as part of a collaborative approach, then you should allow at least 30 seconds to one minute for each piece of music and then sufficient time for debrief. We'll do things in an abbreviated way in this video, including only listening to one item of music. We're about to play a song called On the Riverside, which was recorded by an artist named Lobo Loco. It's available through the Creative Commons, the license for which can be accessed through the link on this slide. Please note that the song has not been modified, remixed, or built upon in any way, and it's not being used for commercial purposes. Now I'm going to ask my colleagues to turn to the three questions under the first item of music and ask that they reflect on these while the music is being played. Firstly, how would you describe the music? Next, what memories come to mind? And finally, how do the memories make you feel? We'll come back and debrief once we've listened to a brief segment of the music. So I hope you enjoyed the music and I'm really interested to hear any thoughts, any reflections that you were able to achieve by listening to it. Would anybody like to share their reflections? Kath, I, I can't hear you. You're on mute. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> um, for me, it really took me back, took me back to my younger younger years when sitting around campfires playing music and singing with friends so it's very soulful sort of music to me mm. but it did make me feel quite lonesome for those times mm. thank you Kath anybody else yeah mine was sort of similar really um I was thinking about it as you know it's a ballad obviously and 
that did make me think about Dylan and some of his early work. Um, but, um, but then I thought more about um, jamming with friends uh, when I was much younger. And, um, and um, I kind of had that sort of a mix, the same kind of well, resonant mix anyway, a sort of sadness and happiness. You know, sort of the, the sadness put with the sense of distance from those times when I used to play a lot and um, uh, play with people. And, um, but also a kind of gladness too about, yeah, some good things. Thank you, Greg. Any other comments? Marina. Um, I am very visual. So immediately I saw myself sitting on a riverbank and mm. I knew it was an American riverbank. Mm. I think I was thinking a bit like Greg about Dylan and the like. But I knew I was an American riverbank. And then I thought in these COVID times, it just makes me realize that we miss going to other places. But I'm glad that we have what we have around us. Thank you, Marina. Kate, anything you'd like to share? Great. Thank you. OK, so to wrap things up, um, when you're using this exercise, you could adapt the questions to relate to any number of things, such as one's study or their life or concepts. And this would further support the learning process. But another warning, exercises such as these can sometimes lead to an altered state of awareness. And in fact, you might continue to reflect for some time long after the music has stopped. Following up with discussion, activity, movement, drawing, journal writing, checking in afterwards can help participants become grounded again. The idea of this exercise was to demonstrate how music could be introduced for the purposes of reflection, be that in the background or as a focal point. And we hope that it's been useful for you in terms of providing some ideas of incorporating learning and teaching in an online space. More details about this exercise and others can be found in our Reflection for Learning practice guide available through the Advanced HE website. And finally, we welcome all feedback on this exercise and any others found in the guide. Please contact, if you are, contact us if you are interested in sharing your experience. Thank you. <laughs>